So here we are with the next project that I'm working on, the bigger project. Um, I actually just finished a video uh, about uh, fixing an LED downlight, um, about which I didn't do any behind the scene clips. So sorry about that. Uh, it was still a very interesting video. I highly recommend you to check it out. But uh, right now I'm doing a very a bigger project, um, has been in the planning for quite a while. Uh, this is about uh, MOSFET driving, the part two with the uh, guide drive transformers. And you can see the setup here is complete. Um, we're doing a Tesla coil test. And I think you can already hear it. It still works just fine, the Tesla coil. Um, fun fact, uh, I'm currently filming, as you can see here, with my camera. And actually, as I was filming and playing around with the arc to show that on screen, that it is uh, definitely more impressive than with my old Tesla coil, uh, the screen actually stopped working randomly, just on off, and then nothing for a while, and then again, off on. Really crazy, so <laughs> that's one of the problems with Tesla coils. Um, they produce so much interference um, with the high voltage and you can have all sorts of problems with touch screens and devices which, which stop functioning. It's crazy sometimes. So I'm happy that I can um, limit the voltage that goes into the circuit because I can only imagine what 230 volts would, would look like. This is just 20 volts AC and this was already creating such big problems in the lab. So uh, for lab use, it's definitely, if you have a small lab, definitely get an auto transformer and get rid of those uh, problems by limiting the voltage. But yeah, this is what I'm currently working on. And it's just the start of the filming, but I think everything will go according to plan and the video will be done soon, maybe in a week or something like that. Hey there. So uh, there's kind of an interesting development uh, with this project, uh, this video I'm working on. Um, you might already have noticed this is not the Tesla coil uh, I started with. Uh, that one is right here, it looks way better uh, than this one because, um, as you might remember, I built this one by myself um, because of that. Yeah, uh, let's just not talk about beauty aspects. <laughs> um, but, you know, it worked to some extent and I just wanted to see if I hook that up to the new driver, if it performs better. And the result is uh, kind of. Uh, it. I think it does perform better. Um, I'm using again, once again, 25 volts AC as an input and the arcs at the output are actually not that bad. I thought uh, the horrible construction is the reason why my old Tesla coil didn't perform that great. You know, it worked, but it wasn't great. Uh, but with this driver, um, maybe I should consider building a new one with such gate drive transformers. I think that is uh, a lot simpler actually uh, than doing bootstrapping, uh, but you will see that in the video. And yeah, maybe I should uh, consider designing one of those. I'm thinking may maybe like um, if uh, something like this can be produced as a kit. Um, this is only a half bridge, as you can see. Uh, maybe something with a full bridge uh, would be kind of interesting. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and I'm talking this long. I will show you now uh, that it works, but the problem is once again, uh, as soon as I start touching that thing, um, my smartphone will freak out and I will probably not uh, just focus or something like that. So this will be the end of the video at this point. Yeah, so just wanted to let you know. Um, so let's crank this up to 25 volts. It is quieter, I would say. Uh, the arcs are not that scary sounding, but as you can see there, we got one. Um, <laughs> it's wobbling around quite a bit. Uh, okay, and now let's let's try to pull some arcs. Yeah, there we go. Looks awesome. So, very interesting stuff. I will have to see. Like, um, it's interesting that this. Works still works so well. So yeah, apparently uh, my smartphone didn't freak out. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Very interesting stuff. I hope you're looking forward to the video. So here we are with the uh, MOSFET video part two, how to drive them. 
um, the basics this time with uh, the gate drive transformer. This is actually the one I created myself. This is a DIY attempt, um, pretty similar. Uh, I don't have it here, uh, but you saw it uh, probably in the previous clip. It looks pretty similar to the one that uh, they used with the, DI with the Tesla coil kit. And what I'm doing here is basically here we got a function generator. Um, which is connected to the input side with a small one microfarad capacitor. Then the output side is directly connected to the gate of the MOSFET, as you can see here, gate, source, that's connected there. And then we got a small LED load, which you might be familiar with from, from part one of this video series, connected to the uh, drain, then the source goes to the negative side. And basically we're driving this LED right now with a duty cycle of 50%. That's what the uh, function generator currently spits out, 50% um, duty cycle. And then we got a frequency here of 180 kilohertz and a five volt peak to peak voltage. And this is what this looks like on the oscilloscope. Oh, I see there's a bit of, maybe I touched something, yeah. I touched something uh, wrong here. Uh, there was a bit of a bad connection, but right now you can see it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, what we're looking at right now is the secondary side, basically what the gate of the MOSFET is seeing. And yeah, uh, looks pretty good. And we just got a small uh, downfall here from the start to the end. Uh, no big ringing or something like that. So uh, that's definitely, uh, a, a waveform you can work with when it comes to gate drive transformers. But the interesting part now is when we decrease the frequency, of course. So let's go to something like 20 kilohertz here. Let me show you how it looks like on the oscilloscope. And as you can see, when the frequency goes lower, the time uh, the uh, transformer, um, the magnetic saturation is reached of the uh, transformer basically basically meaning uh, the magnetic flux doesn't uh, how do I say it um, <laughs> uh, when the current is flowing for too long uh, the magnetic flux can then not change anymore I think not sure if I'm throwing the terms uh, incorrectly right now but uh, the reason, uh, what is the consequence in the end is uh, that we do not have uh, the constant change of the flux and thus we do not have a constant voltage here. It basically goes up, then uh, it breaks down pretty quickly. As you can see here, it goes down to almost zero at both sides and that's definitely not how you want your gate drive transformer to perform. So you basically cannot use this one, this DIY wire temp with 20 kilohertz. Uh, you have to go higher, let's say like 80 kilo hertz and there it looks a lot better you still got this downfall from the top but here it still reaches values like four volts from the initial five volts or six volts if we consider this small overshoot so that's still usable but not perfect so um this is basically the diy attempt which works perfectly fine for high frequencies but then we will also compare a commercial version which as you can see is not only super super tiny in comparison uh, it also works uh, better to some extent uh, we will see that in the video uh, basically there we don't have this downfall at lower frequencies um, but then again you can uh, um, you can buy those uh, depending on what you're trying uh, to work with so um, for low frequencies, for high frequencies, I will show you how to calculate that, that with a simple example in the video as well. And then we have a comparison between the DIY and the commercial one. Uh, DIY works for the most part, but if you want to go super precise and maybe want to avoid uh, hassling with the DIY version, you can always get uh, the buy version and save a bit of time. And they're not that expensive. So yeah, it will be a pretty interesting video, I think. So I'm currently working on a very cool project. Uh, this is a small robot, as you can see. Um, it got motors, it got a, a development board on the top, uh, which is really awesome because as you can see, the robot is currently avoiding obstacles. And that's not because it has some kind of uh, infrared sensor which detects uh, distance. It actually has a camera. And uh, that's the really cool thing, which will be the subject of the video is with it will be AI, so artificial intelligence. 
and the robot basically or currently observes uh, the surrounding around it. I will show you on the computer in a second. And from a data set which I uh, previously made from pictures, I told the robot uh, when there's a situation where it is blocked and a situation where it is free. So um, as you can see, all the edges here are situations where it is blocked. I made, I think, 200 pictures of that. And then I also made 400 pictures of situations where it is free to go. And as you can see, I'm really surprised how well this works. Um, it was actually not that hard to set up because uh, the development board has a great um, guide, I would say, a beginner's guide, uh, which you can follow. And I pretty much just did that because the programming is just, it's complicated, of course. Uh, it's AI. Um, <laughs> it's not a simple task just when you think about it. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Right now it's a bit trapped uh, there, but uh, this, the data set is actually made up for my complete corridor. Um, so I will see, um, <laughs> yeah, right now it's, it's going a bit in circles there, but this is just a basic um, setup. You can of course tweak this, you can add more functions and all that good stuff. And as an example, here is the camera feed currently. And you can see uh, the algorithm when it says blocked and not blocked. And I think that's pretty awesome. Right now, yeah, it's going to the guitar blocked. Turns around. Okay, right now it's going in this triangle. Goes there. Okay, no, blocked. Let's go other way. Yeah, this is free. Really awesome stuff. You will see it in the video. Um, not sure when it will come out. Oh, okay. Now it reaches a situation where it cannot escape. So let's try to bring it somewhere else. Yeah, that, let it move this way for now. I'm um, not sure when the video come out, but uh, really awesome stuff. Um, big promises there. Uh, so yeah, you will see and I will just continue talking until it hits another edge so I can show you that it also works there. Uh. Ah, it kind of works. I think I went too close uh, with my block pictures because I didn't um, I didn't uh, fully uh, understand that it has such a turn radius with its bottom piece. So I should probably have backed up a bit more when taking the pictures, but really promising stuff. I like it.